Hello everybody and welcome in our first of all of our position breakdowns for Miami football 2023. I'm Steve Baker, the voice of the Red Hawks. Head coach Chuck Martin joins me here in our Jaeger Stadium studio. And before we get to the offensive line, which is our first position group today, coach, uh, outstanding spring ball summer workouts. Uh, I've seen some of the guys, obviously a couple of guys at media day. Uh, everybody's looking in great shape and ready to go. Yeah, incredible offseason from January on. Um, strength and condition lead up to spring ball. Uh, tremendous gains physically. You could see them visually. You could see them in their, their strength numbers. Um, kids worked incredibly hard with our strength staff, did a, did a great job, had a really good plan going in the offseason, had a really competitive spring ball, uh, just got better at every position. We had some young guys really, really take off. Um, during the spring that haven't even played yet at Miami and we're expecting them to hopefully take that to the fall and then we went right back in that strength and conditioning cycle. Uh, we're, we're in as good a shape if you talk to our kids. Some of our kids have been here five, six years with COVID um, in the best shape of their lives, not only strength wise, but running wise. So we, we love where we're at. We love this team going into the 2023 season. Obviously, NIL, the portal, all of that are, has, has changed everything. In, for, in terms of recruiting and building a program. You can't really build a program these days because you never know what's gonna happen, but building from year to year, and this seems to be a very solid group. Yeah, no, we're really excited with our additions, whether they be freshmen or whether they be transfers. Um, we lost a couple good players to, to Power 5 schools, um, which is gonna happen uh, when you have good players. Um, you can't forecast that, so you just kind of roll with the punches and, and, and figure out do we have freshmen or younger guys that can step up or do you need to maybe fill in with an older transfer and that's just you did position to position so our staff's done a good job our recruiting staff's done a good job um, we filled some of the cracks with older guys some of the cracks we think are be filled with younger guys we're still a freshman laden program our the culture we've created here over a 10-year period our kids work as hard as anyone in the country our kids do as well in the classroom as anybody in the country. Our kids prepare as far as anything, they act appropriately. So our culture is our culture. So we're still gonna be based on high school kids developed through the program. Sometimes we're gonna lose some of those for whatever reason because of the transfer rules, um, but we're gonna still keep our culture intact and then make sure that the transfers come in are gonna fit not only Miami University, but fit the kids in our locker room and the standard they set. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's get to it. The offensive line, for the 2023 Red Hawks, garnered some off-season recognition. Some, uh, one of the magazine or online uh, credited, credited them with being the best returning offensive line in the MAC. And uh, you've got some really solid starters there, uh, which got that attention for you. But as we all know, offensive line is one of those places where depth is absolutely key. Yeah, no, and this is this is an area that in January we really felt like experience-wise talent wise and then just productivity wise we have to get better and we know we have the bodies to do it um, we have not ran the ball consistently like we need to to be a high caliber offense we have not protected consistently like we need to to be a high caliber offense so our old line has been a huge emphasis it uh, starts with Reed Holsky at, at one of the tackle spots as a tremendous young player and he's a leader um, he comes to work every day whether it be in the weight room whether it be uh, conditioning wise, whether it be at a practice, whether it be at a meeting, comes to work with a professional NFL mentality, professional CEO mentality every day. And he's a tremendous football player that is just scratching the surface of what he's going to become. And then the other side, it's weird because at our left tackle, we have two returning starters, which is say, how can you have two returning starters? But we have Sam Vaughn, who was our starting right. left tackle. Um, and brings experience and know-how, and we're expecting big things. We're expecting Sam to take a giant step this year from, we thought he was gonna take the giant step last year, but then he tears his ACL in the Kentucky game. So right. we, the first first half of the first game of the year, you lose your starting left tackle, and Jado's played the last 11, 12 games for us. So we actually have two returning stars. One of them will certainly start left tackle. One of them may start Inside. at left guard or someplace else there's a lot of battles going on that Sam did not go through spring so we're still trying to get the puzzle pieces right but we feel really good about those guys um, on the left side then there's a host of others uh, Kobe Border started at right guard um, played good for a young guy but has has a few few jumps left in his game that yeah. we need to make um, we got John Young a transfer from Kentucky um, we've got um, 
at the center. We got uh, Chuck Nank, Pete Nank's younger brother, who had a tremendous spring. He's one of those young guys I talked about that took a, uh, took a giant leap. We have a couple freshmen, Brandon Law, Horn Moore, um, is one that really stood out in spring at left guard, so he'll be in there battling for starting jars. Gavin Roars, Drew Terrell will be other guys that'll be battling for starting jobs. So we feel like we have the depth. We need the productivity. We got to knock people off the run, guys, and we got to keep people off Brett Gabrick and whoever else may play a quarterback for us this year. Um, and they had a tremendous offseason off spring, and we're, we're looking forward to getting the results. If they play well this year, we're going to have a really good football team. Yeah, I love the big guys and what they can do inside. Uh, for the Red Hawks. Speaking of big guys, on our next uh, next position breakdown, we'll break down the other side, the defensive line here on MiamiRedHawks.com.